Hi there, I'm Beth Ramsden, and this week's video is my response to a challenge from the lovely Marna at the Dolls Rescue channel. She says that live dolls are so beautiful and whimsical, they would even look good dressed in a burlap sack. A few dolly YouTubers have been challenged to create an outfit for Blythe made from burlap fabric. We need your help to decide who has done it the best though. In the description, you'll find links to the other participants in this competition. Once you've watched my video, please go and watch theirs. And then, after the usual lovely comments you guys leave for us, please comment under the video of your favourite outfit, letting them know it's got your vote. In a few days, we'll add up the votes and then watch out on Wednesday the 19th for short follow-up videos from each of us announcing our own favourites and we'll let you know who the winner is. During the Great Depression in America, so many people reused flour sacks to turn into clothes that the manufacturers actually started printing lovely patterns onto them. Isn't that clever? Marna mentioned that burlap can be bought as a ribbon, and so that is what I've bought for this challenge. It has a pretty floral pattern printed on it. You can see from my concept sketch and pen drawing that I plan to make a wraparound apron. This is a Japanese design that I love and I often see on Pinterest. I will also create a hair bow and a bag to match. I have eyeballed a version of the pattern that should fit Blythe's proportions and here I'm tracing it onto white cotton for the lining. My burlap ribbon isn't quite wide enough so I'm joining two sections together, pressing open the seam and top stitching two parallel rows. Next I'll make a pocket for the front. I'll fold over and top stitch one edge of the ribbon, then trim it and press in the sides and bottom so I can stitch them directly onto the apron front. Now I can lay the lining on the top, being careful to have the pocket in the right place, and position the design over the centre seam. I pin it down and mark an area to leave open for turning through. I'll sew all around the outline aside from that. Now I'll use my pinking shears to trim close to the line, leaving extra fabric around the turning area. I turn it through using my hemostat and push out all the corners. I've pressed it and next we'll join the shoulder straps like so. They cross over at the back. I'll hand stitch them using a ladder stitch across the facing fabric, then flip it over and stitch along the lining fabric too. Finally, I'll top stitch all the way around the edges, and because we've created an infinite loop by crossing the straps, this can all be sewn in one continuous seam. There we have the apron finished! It looks super cute, I would absolutely wear it. Here is how to shimmy it onto the doll. Thank you. 
It fits the A-Zone body perfectly. I've whipped up a basic bow shape, making use of the raw ribbon edging, and I've added a clip to the back. I finished it with a cream lace and made a tiny bow from that lace to add to the apron pocket. Now onto the bag. I cut a 9 by 14 centimeter piece of oil cloth and sew onto this a 9 by 6 centimeter piece of burlap. I then fold over the two narrow ends and top stitch. Then I fold the centre, which will become the bottom of the bag, into an M or a W shape and clip it. Then I'll sew up each side. It's sewn and I've snipped the bottom corners before I turn it through. Push out the bottom and you'll get a lovely shape at the sides like this. Next, I'll make handles. I've ironed some interfacing onto a strip of burlap, which I'll then cut in half. I'll tuck in the edges and fold it over before stitching. I'll leave the ends open to attach to the bag itself. There we go, that looks really cute. I've had a rummage and I found this thing that looks as if it was made to go with this fabric. I'll attach it to the front of the bag for decoration. There we go! Just like that I have a lovely burlap outfit set. What do you guys think? She doesn't look like she's dressed in a sack, that's for sure. My lovely model, Akemi, is all dressed, ready to do some of her favourite hobbies. She's got her paintbrushes and palette and has just finished painting a beautiful picture. She won't get any paint on her clothes thanks to her pretty and practical new apron. Thank you so, so much for watching guys. Please do check out the other videos in this competition. Then I hope you'll come back and cast your vote in the comments. Fingers crossed! See you again soon! Bye!